My name is Melinda Kelly. I'm Executive Director of Chatham Business Association. And uh, Chatham Business Association is a 41-year organization whose interest is, uh, is to support the economic or commercial corridors in the community. We're a city delegate agency. So our job is in every field to lend support to create, sustain, and identify uh, business initiatives that hopefully create employment and improve quality of life in our community. So I have counterparts throughout the city of Chicago, uh, and that's what we do here. We um, assist with access to capital, workforce training and development, um, contract opportunities, and we try to make sure that we stay on the forefront of um, legislation that might hurt small businesses. So advocacy is part of it as well. Well, in, in class, um, we're learning a lot about public housing, and we've read a lot of books and stuff. So our questions kind of pertain to that because we're really interested. OK. And um, one of our first questions would be is, like, how old were you when you moved into public housing? Um, I was a little under 10 years old, probably 8 or 9. Okay. Mm -hmm. and I'm 99 now. <laughs> <laughs> you look good. You look great. <laughs> and, um... I'm only 60 now. Oh, you know, well, you do look great. You look great still. I go. <laughs> but, um, do you have any memories of what your first thoughts of public housing were before you moved in, and then maybe, like, even a few years after you moved in, like, your whole idea of public sure. housing? Sure. I remember, um... I moved into public housing, uh, probably like most other families, my mom and dad were divorcing, and public housing was a uh, program that was always, or we were of the impression it was to give you a helping hand when, when a family needed help with living that they could afford, and the goal was to move into public housing, get on your feet, and then always move out of public housing. So our, the day that my mom, uh, who was a single mom and she had three girls, decided to move in there, I, I distinctly remember the conversation. I remember her fear, because she had three daughters. And um, I mean, it was new for her. She was going from uh, becoming a housewife to now she has to take care of three kids to now she has to move into a new environment now she has to get a job and what that meant but I do remember her distinctly saying that uh, we were moving into the Hilliard home and at that time they were relatively a new uh, project area had round walls and but I distinctly remember her saying that we're going to go into the public housing we're going to live there we're going to go to school and uh, we're going to save money, and you're going to move out and make room for the next family that needs it. I distinctly remember her saying that. Okay. So that was the plan. Yeah, because I know we learned a lot about how um, public housing was this kind of paradise at first, to where there were really nice homes and stuff. So that's why we were interested about um, if when you moved in you thought it was this great place, or but you had more of an idea of it being just a temporary thing. I first. did. But I do think, I think you're, you're right, I think it was a very cohesive group. Uh, back then, um, people knew each other's families, and conditions were good. I mean, plenty of warm water. I didn't even know the hot tanks were water ran out <laughs> until I moved out. Um, um, the heating was good. Uh, I have this dreadful fear of bugs. We lived on the 10th floor. There were no bugs up there mm -hmm. <laughs> flying around. They, you know, they didn't make that altitude. Um, there was a playground. At that time, there was a swimming pool. It was a concrete kind of a swimming pool in there. But So you had, in the summertime, you were out with people that you knew. Uh, you grew up with people right next door to you. Um, I, I thought it was, uh, I think it provided a, a good life. A good foundation to move on. Um, you mentioned you lived on the tenth floor, uh -huh. so just 
Would you be able to describe any stories or memories of like what you used to do for fun as a child? Oh, sure. Um, tenth floor was, um, you know, the summer nights were always the best nights where people would come and hang out or talk about things. Um, at that time, I know there were five families on that floor who had 